Hello everyone, so in this video we are given a parabola which has the equation x squared minus 3x minus 4 and what they want us to do is to determine or well, number one says for which values of x is f of x now this means greater than zero so I want to look at that carefully because I know some people do struggle with this you got to think of this as like a crocodile for example and this crocodile is really hungry so if a crocodile is really hungry it does it eat something that's big or something that's small well it tries to eat something that's big and we can see the direction of its mouth it's definitely opening its mouth towards f of x so that means that f of x is big and the zero is small so what we can say is that f of x must be bigger than zero now what does bigger than zero mean bigger than zero means anything that is positive but now what are they talking about are they talking about the x values that are positive because that would be over here no all graphs are actually related to the y value okay so we're talking about the y value so where on the graph is the y value zero I mean is the y value positive so if I had to sketch this part over here is the y value of the graph at those points positive or negative well those points are all below the x-axis and so that means their y values are all negative so we're not interested in that part what we are interested in is this part over here where the y value is positive and also over here and that would continue that would go on forever and ever obviously we can't draw it because we have space limitations so for which x values is the graph positive well it's none of these x values because these x values for example if I choose this x value here and I go look at the value of the graph it's all the way down there so what I'm interested in is all the x values over here because if I choose any one of those x values and I see what the y value of the graph is I'd have to go up and I'll see that the y value is always positive and I'm also interested in all of these x values over here because as soon as I had to choose one of those x values and go up to the graph we can see that the y value is positive but if I chose any one of these x values in the middle then you would have to go downwards to hit the graph so the y values are negative so we are interested in section A and section B so what we can say is that X is an element of all the numbers that are so what you could say is that X must be all the numbers that are bigger than this number over here which we can see on the graph is a 4 then we can say or X must be all numbers that are smaller than now this X value here is difficult to see on the graph but it's minus 1 how would I know that well those are the X intercepts of the graph and you could easily find the X intercepts by making Y equal to 0 and then you could simply factorize or use the formula so we can also say that X must be smaller than negative 1 so that tells me that when X is greater than 4 so that's in this section then the y values are all positive and when x is smaller than minus 1 which is section B then the y values are also positive and then to the end of that we should have added x e r you can also use it in bracket forms you could you in bracket form you could have gone something like this you could have said minus infinity up to minus 1 or or you could say or from the number 4 up to positive infinity so this part here would be for this and this part here would be for that so there's different ways of doing it some people like to use the bracket method and some people yeah, like to use the crocodile mouth method the next one says where is f of x so remember when you see f of x you should think of y so they're saying for which values of x is the y value equal to zero well we know that the y values are equal to zero over there and over there because if as soon as you go above then your y values become positive and as soon as you go below your y values become negative but anywhere on this line your y value is zero so at which x values does that happen well we saw that that is when x is equal to 4 or when x is equal to minus 1 notice I can say equals now because we're talking about those specific points and then the last one says for which values of x is f of x which is the y values where are they negative okay so the y values are negative over here all of those y values are negative so what are the x values that go with those y values what's all of these x values over here for example this x value here goes with that y value this x value here goes with that y value so it's all the x values between this point and this point so we can say that X must be all the numbers that are bigger than minus 1 
but at the same time they must be smaller than 4. Okay, and then you'd also say that x is an element of all real numbers. So what this says is that x is all the numbers that are bigger than minus 1. So minus 1, 0, 1, 2. But at the same time, x must also be less than 4. So it's all the x values in between there.